The speed controller is all encased in resin to protect it from the environment and is operated by the magnet through the plastic of the body. The lights and the magnetic switches are on the center line of the Kontiki, with the magnetic sensors at either end of the lights. The side of the magnet where the string comes out is the stronger side, and this is the side you should use to activate the autopilot and speed controller. There will be a single light showing on the speed controller. This is the battery status light, and it refers to the OK recharge scale. A fully charged battery should show the light up at the OK end of the scale, and a partly or fully discharged or flat battery will show the light down in the recharge area of the scale. At this point, you have two choices. Firstly, if you want a maximum run from the batteries, swipe the magnet across the Kontiki at the Start Set Speed sensor, and the Mercury motor will start. The sensor is on the center line of the Kontiki, just below the five minute light. So swipe the magnet all the way across the Kontiki to ensure you cross over the sensor. If the motor is started without setting the timer, the motor will run until the control unit turns the motor off when the voltage drops due to the batteries being fully discharged. The second option is to set the time you want the Kontiki to run for before starting the motor. This is done by swiping the magnet across the Kontiki at the set time and this will ensure you cross over the sensor. The sensor is just above the 25 minute light. When the first swipe, five lights will come up, indicating the timer is set for a maximum run of 25 minutes. A second swipe will drop the lights down to four, being 20 minutes, and so on. Each swipe will drop the timer down by five minutes, and then it will cycle through again. Once the timer is selected, you can then swipe the magnet across the start set speed sensor and start the motor. When the motor is running, the controller is monitoring the battery's voltage and will turn the motor off when your time is up or if the voltage drops due to the battery being fully discharged. The 46 pound thrust motors on both the GPS and standard Seahorse has a fast and slow speed. The Kontiki will always start on fast speed and slow speed is selected by holding the magnet over the bottom 5 minute light for 3 seconds. You will see the lights change from flashing fast to flashing slow. After 3 seconds, it will change back to fast speed. Most people operate the 46 pounder at fast speed. The GPS Seahorse steers better at fast speed and it will punch through big surf and fight across strong rips. Slow speed is useful in calm conditions when pulling softer baits out so they won't get pulled off the line. The GPS Seahorse doesn't steer as well on slow speed. Most people set the timer before walking towards the water and only start the motor when in the water and ready to launch.